Once upon a time in a land far away, there lived a beautiful princess named Sleeping Beauty. She was the kindest and most compassionate. Wait! Stop! That's not how the story goes. Excuse me. I'm trying to tell a story here. Once upon a time... But you're telling it all wrong. I beg your pardon, old woman, but I've been telling this story for hundreds of years. Then you've been I... telling it wrong for hundreds of years. I most certainly have not. First of all, the story doesn't even begin with Sleeping Beauty. That's ridiculous. Excuse me. Could you kids please tell me the name of the play you're watching right now? Sleeping That's right. Sleeping Beauty. Told you. That's the name of the play. The story starts with Sleeping Beauty. And second of all, her name that wasn't even Sleeping Beauty. Of course it was. It was Betty. Sleeping Betty. That's right. I don't think so. Now, if you don't mind, once upon a time... That's I... not how the story begins. Oh, yeah? Well, then how does it begin, Miss Smarty Pants? With me. With you? <laughs> Who are you? I am. Zelda, the most powerful evil fairy in all the land. Good for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Once upon a time in a Claw land of far bear, away. wing of hawk, you will find you cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> At last, the story can be told the way it was meant to be, starring me. It was a long, long time ago. Ward of Toad, Pill of Mine, Mr. Clock, go back in time. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful, fabulous, wonderful, fab fabulous fairy called Griselda the Great. That's me. Now in that same land lived a not so wonderful, not so powerful, not so fabulous princess, Princess Penelope. Princess Penelope was so ugly and so mean, she hated everybody and everybody hated her. I've had just about enough of you! Leg of spider, nose of dog, turn this man into a frog! I need you for my story. Shell of turtle, feather of duck, you cannot move, your legs are stuck. <laughs> now, the wonderful, perfectly fabulous Griselda, me, had many fabulous, wonderful items, but her most prized possession was her pet frog. This frog was the smartest frog in all the land. Froggy, what is 87 times 34? 2,958. He could speak every language. Hola, bonjour, guten tag, konnichiwa, Statsvitsia. ribbit. And he could tell the future. Griselda, someday there will be a fairy more powerful than you. Bad frog, naughty frog, you are lying. Someday there will be a fairy more... That's not true, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Master Ribbit. <laughs> Do not cry, little froggy. I will set you free. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ribbit. Ribbit. Now listen, you dumb frog. I will not. You. What have you done with my pet frog? Well, he was crying. How dare you? Scale of snake, sting of ray, you helped my frog run away. Fin of fish, ink of squid. Now you'll never have a kid. Enter Prince Wallace, the richest and most sensitive prince in all the land. My dear lady, whatever is the matter? It was love at first sight.
yuck. They were married soon thereafter, and would have lived happily ever after, but there was always something that was haunting them. <laughs> the curse I placed on Queen Penelope. She could never have a child. So they lived the rest of their lives in misery. <laughs> because of me. <sighs> I win. That's the end of the story. I said the end. You can all go home now. Bye-bye. Shame on you, Griselda. No, oh, Dread, not her. You know that's not how the story ends. Well, that's how it should have ended if if you and your fairies wouldn't have meddled in. Why don't you tell them what really happened, Griselda, or I will? Oh, if I must. You must. Listen here, little goody two-shoes fairy. Don't you have some other evil fairy you could go bother? I think I'd better stick around and make sure you tell it right. <laughs> what, you don't trust me to tell the story? No, I don't. <laughs> don't listen to her, kids. You can trust me. You kids do trust me, right? Oh! Hmm. Well, fine then. Now we shall continue with my story. Every night before Queen Penelope went to bed, she'd wish upon a star for a yucky, ugly, smelly little baby. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, wish I may, wish I might, have this wish I wish tonight. Except this time she wasn't wishing on a star! Wait a minute, I'm the one telling this story. Oh no, she didn't wish on any ordinary star. Queen Penelope just happened to wish on the glowing part of my magical wand. And I, Morwind of Fairy of the Skies, heard her wish. Yeah, 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 but you couldn't reverse one of my spells. So I called my sister Torwinda, Fairy of the Land. Oh, Dread, not another good fairy. Okay, kids, I need my sister's help to reverse the curse. Now, to call it, the only way that Torwinda will know to come is if we use a secret good fairy call. It's swap. Okay, let's try that real quick. Ready? Zwap. All right, now we're going to say it on the count of three, okay? It's going to be one, two, three, and then zwap. You all got it? All right, ready? One, two, three, zwap. <laughs> oh, kids, I don't think that was long enough for Tor Torwinda to hear. She's very, very far away and a little hard of hearing. So let's try that one more time. Ready? One, two, three, zwap. <laughs> Thanks for the help, kids. Ugh, all this happiness is gonna make me puke. Good day, sister. How may I be of service? Fairy huddle. Right back, right back, right back. Right back. Uh oh. What's wrong with our window? I forgot how to spell start. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Ha <laughs> I win. That's the end of the story. You all can go home now. Wait, I know. Excuse me, could you please tell me the most magical word you know? Any word? Shazam! Yes, Shazam! That's it, that's the word I forgot. Thank you so much. Shazam! Tava Sheree, Tava Sheree, Marvata Tati, Marvata Kareel, Rickety, Rackety, Snippety, Snappity, Chappity, Chappity, Zippity, Zappity, Zippity, to everyone in the land, inviting them to a party to celebrate the birth of our daughter, Princess Beatrice. Of course, dear husband. It will be the biggest and most fancy party this land has ever seen. We will have cake. Yes, lots of cake. And balloons. Of course. And presents. Yes, and everyone in the land will attend, each and every person, each and every fairy. Person in all the land to not 
have any of the cake, balloon, or presents? Can anyone take a guess? You in the third row. You! Yep, you guessed it. Me. And I was pretty mad about it. And it's not a very good idea to make the most powerful evil fairy in all the land mad. 